I tried an Eclipse only offense run and it was harder than I thought. I'm currently practicing for a future attempt at the Hardcore Iron Man challenge and in order to find success there, I'll have to be proficient at running every moon while it's eclipsed. Offense might not have the most dangerous outdoor threats, especially since you can just pipe jump to the fire exit, but it's notorious for lethal indoor spawns. Offense has the highest spawn chance for thumpers in the game, boasting a 26.07% spawn chance and if you're not ready to face a thumper when you land here, then you will likely not be able to survive all that long. In addition to that, offense also has the highest spawn chance for coil heads out of all the free moons, and while 11.85% might not sound like all that much, it's still likely to encounter them since offense boasts a max indoor power level of 12, which is the highest I've faced in these eclipse only runs so far. As someone who tends to avoid confrontation rather than face it head on, the challenge I'll face here doesn't lie so much in the eclipsed weather condition, but in whether or not I'll be able to survive the enemies that lurk within offense's facilities. I don't have much experience fighting enemies with a shovel, but that's what makes an offense only run a perfect opportunity opportunity to get somewhat proficient at a part of the game that can only help me in the long run. I plan on doing an Eclipse only run for every moon leading up to my next Hardcore Iron Man, and I've already done them for both Vow and Experimentation, so let me know which ones you want to see next and subscribe to keep up with the rest of my journey. But that's all I have for the intro, let's get into the hardest Eclipse only run I've done so far. We're gonna do an offense Eclipse only run today, but before I get started on that, I want to see if I can nail this no pipe jump fire exit parkour. No extension ladder. Just because, you know, I do plan on going on the pipe jump most of the time. But just in case I fail it, I think it's good to have this backup plan. Okay. Looks like we can just go over. Oop. Right here. And then I think I saw him just kind of run right here. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. You just kind of you know, just jump up that little part right there, and then run up, and then you can jump there. Uh, for reference, I saw this from a video by a person named Pocket Ice Cream, where, yeah, they, they do that jump. They're the first video that I saw where they're jumping right here. And in their video, they... They do like this running jump thing yeah, right here. Then you want to face this way, wait for your stamina. I was going to practice that, but then I cross-referenced his video with this one by see no more. And uh, in his, he just kind of goes right around here and then starts running up. Let him cook, let him cook for a second. Yeah, see, look, he, he just sprints up right here. And he actually mentions pocket ice cream later on right here. And, and then does the go goes up and then just runs up and I'd rather just have a strategy where that's easier to do less less skill to perform than one that takes more okay seems like that'll be pretty repeatable so let's go actually start the run my main strategy is going to be going to the regular pipe jump that's because mostly because it's faster too oh wait hold on I need to make eclipse only all right now we cooking for real eclipse only offense but before that, we're going to get a shovel, and we're also going to get a pro flashlight. We're going to go to the company building to go retrieve those. The reason why I want a shovel is because offense is thumper territory, and I'll be the first to admit that I don't have a lot of combat experience with these thumpers. I've mostly avoided combat ever since Real Cheese has been taken out of the game, and I found enough success of that to where I haven't really needed to fight anything. In a regular run, that's fine, but when it comes to like an Iron Man challenge or something where you only get one shot, shot at a map, it's kind of a waste when you have to leave a map just because there's a thumper there. But I think it'll be a good idea to get good at fighting them, especially since they've been kind of nerfed in this patch. They're a lot more manageable to deal with. Go to offense now. The plan is to do as much as I can through the fire exit. And if I miss, if I miss the fire exit jump, then that's why I learned the parkour. And... If I don't find enough in the fire exit, then I'll go to the main entrance. Let's go. I'm gonna get really good at this pipe jump. I'm gonna have to. Alright. Line ourselves up. Oh god. Okay, well this is why I practice. Let's see what we got going on here. I just learned last night that giants can spawn on this map, which is kinda ridiculous. I played a session with my friend Brian. Oh, that moon hawk. Love to see it. 
What is it? Pretty intense start actually but we make it up that's exactly why we practice that <laughs> 9 30 took me a while to get up here oh near activity detected i wonder what that could be find out wait let's have the shovel out in case i didn't see what it was oh okay over here oh okay well main entrance is right there that's kind of not the greatest but it could be worse okay oh bottles too a lot of two-handed item spawns on this map apparently um, I can afford to have this flashlight on I think or I can't afford- well, I can also afford getting hit by this. Well. Where did you decide to go? Oh, that, that ceiling's pretty high up, actually. Alright. Nice, that's like one of the first times I've killed a hoarding bug without taking damage. Let's go, me. Okay. I have no idea where this snare flea went, actually. Lots of landmines. I think we're gonna do some homework after this. I don't know what the power levels are on offense. Again, probably something I should have looked into prior to starting the run, but you know what? We're out here. God, dude. Oh, there's more than one snare fleet I see now. Like, I could have sworn I hit that thing. Well, at least the two-handed items I'm getting are worth quite a bit. I could be getting two-handed items. Okay, there's a spider. And a blob. Okay, I think... I think our time going this way is gonna be a lot shorter than I anticipated. Let's get this. You know, this can also just be, you know, warm up round. I can secure some stuff. Not worry too hard about how much I'm actually doing. Oh god! Okay, well. Main entrance is like right here anyway. Oh no, god. Damn it. God, I'm so bad. <laughs> we'll just, um, yeah, we'll chalk that up to a warm-up round. Maybe I shouldn't worry about thumpers until I can consistently kill, uh, boarding bugs. Boss level employee, by the way, 100 plus hours in the game. We'll start over. Already lost my combat equipment, so might as well. Okay, I actually gotta fix that by order. I should route to the company planet and then buy the items, that's a bit more, uh, a bit more efficient. Because while I'm routing to the planet, I can buy the stuff, and then by the time I'm done buying the items, I can just send right away. But yeah, I said let's check the offense mirror haze before proceeding. Max indoor power 12, max nighttime power 8, minimum scrap 14. Okay, well this is kind of like a high enough number where I don't really have to think about it all that hard, because there's just going to be a lot of enemies, you know? Let's actually play the game now. You know what? Vibes are off on that last run because I missed the pipe jump. So I'm just not going to miss the pipe jump this time. We jumped a little too late. Now. Woo! Let's go. Hype. Off to a great start. 
Last time I missed the pipe jump and I got to the fire exit around 9.30. We're gonna see how much faster I can get there this time. I see a dog in the distance. That's two of eight power level. Actually, there's two dogs, so that's half of the power level already. Oop. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Coming in strapped. Okay. I'm bringing the shovel with me in case the thumper... I get caught lacking with the thumper nearby. Magnifying glass is pretty good. Tea kettle is pretty good also. These are right next to the entrance, so I can just shuttle these back. Um, let's, now we can drop it. I'm pretty close. I just won't deviate too far from here. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll secure what we've found so far. Got both of those real quick. A hoarding bug takes my stuff. If I just get wrecked by hoarding bugs this whole run, that would actually be funnier then. Uh, than anything else, actually. 100 hours in the game, still getting wrecked by hoarding bugs. Crazy spawn, though. Just three loot rooms off rip. What is that? Oh, maybe just a shadow? Okay. Go this way. I'm hearing stuff, but not quite sure what it is. We have some flash here. Oh, what? Big bolt. Not a bad price for it either. 29. Go this way. I'm gonna take a peek across the way as we go across. Bottles. Fine. Teeth. That's a good spot. No, I'm not jumping if I don't have to. Boy cube. Robot. Wow, okay. We're cooking. Maybe I consider coming back. Please Why is that scaring the shit out of me now? Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, well, this is what I came here for, right? Oh, that's not good. Okay, actually, get over here. Not so bad when you can trap them. Alright, come on. Okay. What the? How did you open that? I thought you can't open doors. Okay, you're gonna have to go back in there, I'm afraid. Okay. That was not cool. For real? I have incorrect information then. Well, at least we get to live.
Well, it's a pretty decent inventory at least. Here's what we're gonna do. Maybe we- I think we just secure this stuff actually. Um, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna secure the noise making stuff last. As in like bring it over here last. Three dogs. It means no giants. Probably a sandworm somewhere. Actually, I think that was just four dogs. That's kind of ideal. Now I don't have to worry about anything other than being too loud. That's not that big of an issue. I kind of want to go for the toy cube and the bottles and stuff, but... I'm gonna have to rethink the coilhead strategy, because I, th I thought coilheads just couldn't open unlocked doors in solo play. Either I've been lied to, or uh, the Eclipse only mod is messing with the coil head AI. There's no real point in being quiet up here. I just don't want to attract the dogs where I'm headed. I guess there is a point. Alright, calms, calms. No two-handed items is going to make this a little easier, I think. Uh-oh. Okay, I'd say that's a successful first day. Met quota. I killed a thumper. Half trapped a coil head. Didn't die this time. Hoarding bugs more dangerous than thumpers and coil heads. Confirmed. I think I survived that encounter because I isolated the encounters. If I faced a coil head and the thumper at the same time, I might have been in a bit more trouble. When you're playing solo, it's good to know those rooms that are dead ends with a door. Then you can put coil heads in them. But I guess it doesn't matter as much if they're just going to escape the rooms, huh? Hmm. That changes a lot. Coil heads are a lot scarier now. That's too early. Landed back on the ship just to make sure I don't take any fall damage. Terrified of that 4% giant, honestly. Because what are you supposed to do if a giant spawns? Not a lot of cover. Dog over there. 
kind of good if they spawn over there because there's like literally nothing over there okay nice I should be able to just run up right here. And with the very last bit of stamina, make that jump. Cool. Very useful tech, actually. Shout out to see no more in pocket ice cream. Alright. It's dumping time. How much is this worth? 52? Okay. We should go kill him sooner rather than later. Awesome. Whatever free loot we can get before fighting him wouldn't be all that bad, huh? Very well. Oh, another magnifying glass. Sorted. Already 110. Almost first quota in two items. And go check the store out. This is probably where he's at, actually. Yeah, okay. Oh god. Okay. I gotta get better at that. <laughs> but you know what? It's another dub. Oh god! I <laughs> almost died to a snare flea right after, that's crazy. That would have been comedy. I don't like that I'm critically injured now, that's pretty whack. I stay until my flashlight's gonna die. Especially since I got this nice little loot going on. As long as there's no turret. Turret's just gotta kiss me and then I'm dead. Hopefully I don't have to worry about another thumper for a while. There's room over there. I do that jump? I guess it's an easy jump, might as well. Okay, figures. Another tattered metal sheet? I mean, not ideal, but at least- Oh, yikes. I think I was facing the other way, though. Yeah, that's facing the other way. Alright, looks like we're getting two tattered metal sheets and the other two items that I got earlier. Magnifying glass and an engine. As much as I'd like to stay here. No, I almost died already, so... <laughs> Let's not fully die, let's keep the run going. I've already died once on this run, no need to die again. I like the route of going all the way over to the cliff because then I can walk down, don't have to take any damage. I wonder how loud it is though. Already three o'clock. Nope. At least two dogs. Maybe I don't want to bring them all the way over to the ship. 
First inventory I'll bring is with a two-handed item as well, the engine. God damn it. Okay, come this way. Come this way. Don't bite over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here. I might have to deal with that dog now. Unfortunate. Oh, wait. Dog's over here still. Okay, this is actually an unfortunate first inventory also. Because it's just this engine. And then two of my tools. Maybe I should have thought about that. Okay, just walk through the rock. Which... Good enough. I guess you can't grab the, the ladder from under the ship, but you can grab it through the fence. Not a bad start at all. Now, just a matter of taking less damage from thumpers so early on. Maybe add a little sprint action in there, because I didn't, I didn't sprint at all during that encounter with the thumper. Might help me not take a hit. Okay. Jesus. Oh, hell no. And I'm going main entrance if they're going to be over there. <laughs> Baboon hawks are so unpredictable. Not even cool. Unless I go all the way around from the back. Well, I'm already here. Whatever. Can't be that bad, right? I'm a veteran at surviving sand. I didn't charge my flashlight. I'm, <laughs> I'm veteran. Oh. Never punished. Well, slightly punished because they're two-handed items. And that ambient sound sounds so much like a oil head. Kind of ridiculous. Why did I just hear the sound of metal dropping? I didn't drop that. Alright. Might be everything I take since I went to the main entrance. right there too. Jesus. I'm good. I don't even want the tattered metal sheet. It's not worth going back in there for that. Drop stuff off the corner right here. 
I don't know how that first turret didn't just shoot me the first time. I mean, must have been good. Oh man, they might- my shit. I do have full health though, so I can- I can scrap a little bit. I should have left these three items at the top also. Whatever. I'll do it on the last group. E-type engine's only worth 26. If the baboon hawk them to take one, I hope they take that one. see any other outdoor enemies there's only two baboon hawks those are only power level one each so there's still six more power levels okay well that answers one of my questions the sandworm also and there's three baboon hawks actually what way to do man what? I, I was on... I thought I was safe. Okay, well, I guess you're not safe on that thing. Good to know. Maybe I, like, peeked over and that's how it got me. I saw the little ground rumble. I'm like, hmm. Don't like that one. Okay, well, I just got fired, so we run. But that's what I get for going to main entrance and also for missing that jump. Let's do the timing thing that I was talking about. And then by the time I disable this, I should be ready to go. Yeah, that timing's pretty good. Attempt number three. I haven't even made one quota yet. Actually, I'm gonna that's gonna be the goal. I'm gonna try to complete first quota at least once. It'd be pretty embarrassing if I did a video like this and couldn't even complete one quota. Let's go. I'm gonna get this jump eventually, bro. I just have to jump. Slightly earlier than I think, I guess. Baboon Hawk's my favorite. At least two of them. Um, fun fact, offense is the only free moon that doesn't spawn bees. So, no point in running around the map looking for them. It'd be kind of cool if there was something, you know, to collect outside here instead, but... Any turrets? Getting blessed with these big rooms. Don't know why I'm not going there first. Because there was a better metal sheet, obviously. Oh, I almost just died. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go to the big room. There's most likely loot over there. I think something just spawned in. Oh, hello. I'm not gonna bother with that 10 piece stop sign. Unless it's literally the only th other thing I find. Okay, well this room's pretty well lit. Which means there's not gonna be anything in it. Ooh! Not bad, not bad. No door that way. Landmine right there, pretty funny spawn. No door that way either. Wait, that's facing this way. Another tattered metal sheet only worth 10. Alright, pretty uneventful big room, unfortunately. It looks like I was right in going the other way. It's coming back. Let's go the other way then. Oh, hello. Alright, that was cleaner than last time. Um, if I started the circling earlier, I probably would have not taken any hits. 
I'll take that. What? Where? Okay. Good to know. I just won't go that way then. Damn. This is dangerous, bro. More tattered metal. That's a main entrance action. Thirty-eight. Okay, nice. This is what I was looking for. Might even leave the flashlight. Dude. All this stuff is at the main entrance. Why? Guess we'll risk it then. Cause that's like so much money. Oh god. No. Okay. Mind the turret. Where was that large axe? Well, it was in the corner of this room. don't have well actually health doesn't matter when you're facing a nutcracker he'll just one shot you anyway i'm gonna look up how to fight a nutcracker in this new patch okay you don't see me john cena that oh it wouldn't have been so bad if I just jumped like the dogs killed the baboon hawks. Kind of nice, actually. I'll take it. Wait, did I drop the one-handed items down there? If I did, that was a mistake. I think I cut my losses, oh geez. Aw oh, man. It was both my flashlight and the shovel. Okay, well. Baboon Hawk kills me in one hit, so whatever. I could have sworn all of the Baboon Hawks were dead. 
surprised the hell out of me when it actually started moving. Hoping the dogs did a better job. I mean, the dogs killed like four baboon hawks, so that's pretty decent, huh? Now that I don't have any items, it's imperative that I land this jump. Also, I left a stop sign on the map. But, I mean, all the loot that I got was pretty high value, so I can't be that upset. I wonder if it's easier to land on that cliff. What is it? Okay. Wait. This pump. I could probably jump on here from that pumpkin. Maybe. It's gonna be close. Don't have to rely on that though when I got the parkour down. Okay. Hopefully it's not too bad in here. Going in unassisted. We might just take this because I don't want to get caught on this jump and I just want to get my equipment back so this is like bonus rounds. I also said I was going to meet first quota so we're going to meet first quota. Even if it means I have to cheese it, don't care. Would rather not have to start over again. Also three dogs. If I see a fourth dog, I might change my mind, because then the outdoor is going to be pretty safe here. dogs means I basically just have free reign of the entire outdoor map. Okay, well, I'm gonna go look. I get got it's Like I said, if I get God, it's a skill issue. And that's exactly why I'm here. I'm not going to be very greedy, though. That's a quick look. Wait. This is literally where I just was. That's so whack. Oh, I'm getting, getting confused. Metal sheets. Look it. That's a loot room straight ahead. Oh, that's another remote too. Okay, well I'm glad I came here. Wow. Well now I can just leave the tattered metal sheets. Like I'm not gonna force that, right? Quick look over here, and then we'll be okay. Mm, okay. Okay, I will grab it. Maybe I get two inventories. Fuck it. I can think. I can make that decision when I'm outside. Heavy inventory, but 
I guess I'll get to see if there's a sandworm while I'm carrying this one. Make a decision based on that. Hoping for the four dogs spawn. Hundred thirteen pounds is kind of crazy, though. I think with this inventory, I just walk it all the way and then I ditch it. The sandworm decides to show itself. Probably could have distributed the weight a little bit better. Inventory is only 26 pounds. If I see the big red dot of death, I'm not going out there. I didn't see it though. Being about a little more than half stamina for this. I already walked this way, so I should be kind of safe for a little bit. See how we did with no flashlight or shovel. 401. Not bad. Almost two thirds of the available loot on that map in two inventories. Alright. Or actually, that was three inventories. 11 items. Okay, so I jump right when it's about to be eye level with me, I think. I jumped a little later that time and I still made it just fine. Baboon hawk. So the baboon hawks and the dogs are gonna fight. That basically just means that dogs are gonna kill the baboon hawks until baboon hawks stop spawning. Cool with me? <laughs> well, there's not really much you can do about that, right? I said I was gonna make it to first photo, but I guess I'm not. Not even on this run. Eclipse only offense challenge. Make it past first quota without skipping any days. Been playing for almost an hour and haven't made it past first quota on this map. Kinda of ridiculous. Learning a lot though. Learning a lot. And there's a lot to be learned from going into a fire exit and immediately tripping a landmine. Let's see if I can make it past first quota this time. View the training manual real quick. Okay. And we send. Jump timing will be a little different carrying these two items, I think. Wait till about eye level, then go. Nice. Baboon hawk. The distance. Look at me. Making the 
the parkours, making the pipe jumps, and dying to everything else. I haven't died to a thumper yet, so that's a W, I think. I'll take those. I haven't died to a turret yet either. Okay. That would have been precious if I just died to a turret right then and there. Okay. At least these loot rooms are sorting me out a little bit. There's actually another loot room over here. Is forgiven in the world. Everything's fair and balanced, apparently. Okay. There's already a few different trips that I have to make. But I'm cool with it. I didn't have to go that far. Kind of, let's speed run this thing a little bit. So much time on quota one, I kind of want to move on. <laughs> Can you blame me? Plus, this is going to be multiple trips already because it's a bunch of two handed items. And we get our thumper practice? Or not? Part of me wants to go over there and kill it, but the other part of me just kind of wants to <laughs> put a score up on the board for once. I'm gonna do this. Um, are you serious? What the? F okay, well this just got a lot harder than it needed to be. That's a giant that we're hearing. Yeah, look at that. 4% by the way. 4% chance of a forest keeper. I mean, at least it can't get me while I'm up here. But that's still whack. <laughs> Can you see me through this pipe? Doesn't seem like it. I'd much rather I'd rather keep him over there on that side of the map if possible. A lot less to deal with when he's over there. Like you're actually joking. Or I wish you were joking. Hello, my friend. Most blind giant in the West, apparently. I guess the giant has no reason to look up, because why would anything be above him, huh? If they can walk up this, that's gonna be... If they walk up this, then I just... <laughs> I think I quit. I think that's something that only happens in like, what's it called? Like modded maps. How many two-handed items? You think crouching across will help? Can you see me from all the way over there? Is that how good his vision is? You're gonna have to fall off the pipe here. But if he goes that way, it's fine. I don't want him to... If he comes by the ship, I'm gonna get spotted on purpose and then bring him back and then try to stealth all the way back across the pipe. Man, offense throwing everything at me today. I 
I'll leave these up here. It's just I don't want to bring those with me on the first inventory. So if by any chance, if for some reason I can only secure one inventory, I might as well secure the one with the most items. It's literally going to take me all day to shuttle all these few handed items, isn't it? At least the V-Type engine is worth 54. I almost walked off right as I got spotted. That would have been insane. You don't see me. Wait, did that actually work? Are you dumb as hell? Okay. Oh no, he's looking at me right now. I went out of his range right there, it seems. Okay, well, fine if he sees me now. I still got chills up my spine though, that's crazy. Is there more than one giant? Can he just not get me because I'm up here? Like he has no way to path to me, so he's not gonna come. Yeah, he can't path to me, I guess. Wait, is this good enough to hide? Is there more than one giant? Wow, he actually lost me, what an idiot. Okay, so there's no dogs at least. The baboon hawk took my sh You know what? Nah. Well. Getting at least one of these with me. Jesus. This is I, I got these close enough, right? I can just jump up if needed. Let's outrun the worm. There's no dogs to worry about. And I'm just not gonna worry about the one that the the baboon hawk took from me. I think I go back for my flashlight and stuff. I think I just give those up. What is it, Lent? Okay. Now we're good. Jeez. Hard fought battle, but we got everything but one item. Off to a great start. 
I might not have the luxury to avoid encounters like that in the Iron Man run, so I shouldn't avoid them here. Especially not on the first day, like I could have just restarted if I died again. Damn, almost 700 loot on this map. Okay, hopefully no more giants. I guess two sandworms isn't all that bad. Cool. Baboon hawk again. I guess giants aren't that bad either when you make it up on this jump. I wouldn't want to deal with one down there though. Two baboon hawks. One by the ship and one right there. And got a loot room. Being extra careful for turrets. Wow. Like basically telling me to leave right away. I realize I can shuttle this more efficiently if I wasn't holding stuff, but wow. I just feel safer holding the shovel with me. You know, I can prevent myself from going to critical injury if I find myself facing a snare flea. Hello? What the fuck? Okay, don't know why he was getting so active. that one first. Actually, like this. Right. Hmm. I think I just bring all the loot across the pipe. I don't want to drop it all the way down in case the baboon hawks decide to steal it. There's two dogs. Car level four. Two baboon hawks. So no giants unless the dogs kill the baboon hawks. Dogs are also aggroing on something over there. Not sure what. But as long as they're not aggroing on me, it's cool. Hey, yeah, we'll drop everything up here and then we'll figure out the drop order after. Yeah, not sure why that spider wanted to get active on me. Normally when it's in its setup a phase, it doesn't bother you unless you get too close. I feel like I wasn't all that close to it. Okay. Definitely secure the laser pointer on the first inventory. Most valuable thing. Same with the axle. Make the the first retrieval the most dangerous one so then anything else after that is uh kind of like a bonus most dangerous and most profitable it just happens that the large axle and the laser pointer are worth the most in these inventories here and then star items saved for last because i can always just buy more of those looks like there's a scuffle going on over there dogs are fighting one of, one of the dogs is kind of stuck in the wall I'm not gonna complain. Okay. Take this, this, and the one worth 24. Drop those. Then we take everything else on the first load. What? Also, when I go down this wall, I'm kind of like holding back and in a direction. And it just kind of like walks me down pretty safely. And quietly too, the quietly is the important part. Obviously I made a sound on the drop, but I didn't see any dogs nearby. Who weren't me doing the full thing. Okay. Please. In and out. Let's... <laughs> I said this last time, but let's go actually complete a quota for once. 
I think it's because I read the training manual before the runs. And I'm finding some success so far. Not bad, considering how long I was in there. I'd pretty early leave. I guess I could have fought the spider. Or gone back. The spider was probably chill now. I'm a little impatient, honestly. Kind of failed on first quota too many times. I want to get a dub up on the board. I'll worry about fighting spiders after this. Oh, I forgot to charge my flashlight, but... Hitting this jump takes priority. Now I can charge my flashlight. Better to not take damage than to read that jump. Let's see what kind of spawns we're working with. Well, I will murk you if you try to mess up my run right now. I thought that was a giant bro. What the f Wait for the stamina to come back. A little dance. Nice. Pretty consistent at that. And a nice with it. Landmine again? Okay, just landmine decided to be chill with me this time. Oh, I'm just gonna take this. No questions asked. I'm gonna walk it back like a coward. Oh. I saw the snare flea there. We are gonna make this. Hello. Alright, let's get a quota up on the board. Okay, kind of wait for the spider to chill and go somewhere else. God damn it, dude. Why are you moving? Why are you moving? I feel like that shouldn't be allowed. Please go away. Do literally anything else. God damn it. I'm just gonna make a move eventually.
fuck it, dude. Okay. Jesus. Yep. We are going to lock this one in after that. I'm surprised it didn't hit me twice, but we will take it. My hands are actually sweaty as hell right now. Offense really doesn't want to see your me succeed today. Like took offense to me even attempting this challenge. I'm gonna take it easy. Full stamina here. In case there's a sandworm. Right, all the way down. And we are gonna see ourselves a second quota for the first time in this run. Holy. That'll work for that one. Sometimes you just gotta play life. Buy those. That way I have one each round and I don't have to worry about retrieving them either. I can just leave them up top and maybe save some time. Now whatever happens happens. I can be I can be kinda of content with what we do here. I could even just land leave three days in a row and meet quota two, but we're not gonna do that. New profit quota of 240. Let's see. Do I have my bearings on this map? I don't know. As long as I can make these jumps, that's all that matters. Anything else that happens after that is up to me. Been ready. Okay, there's a turret facing that way. I can deal with that. And you know what? I might not even have to deal with it. I can just grab all this stuff without worrying about it. Thank you. One inventory already secured, and it's just turning nine o'clock. Right, come on then. This is why I'm here. How did you hit me? That's not even fair. Wait, there's two? Fuck. I don't like that there's two of them. Dude, oh my god, at least it's not turning. <laughs> this is kind of sad. Fuck it. Nope. Alright. About that. <laughs> Super good display of skill right there, Austin. And now we're now that we've shown how good we are at this game, we're gonna show how good we are at surviving as well. Might actually make some effort to survive this one. Don't turn and face me. Oh, damn it. Hence. 
be me. Maybe he can only see at the same elevation or a similar elevation. Because he only was able to spot me from over there. And he was up there and there's baboon hawks. There's three of them going on here. Bet you the last enemy is a sandworm and it's going to be right over here. I might actually wait him out. I have time. I have so much time. And once I commit to this... Actually, he's already over there. Oh, wait, he saw that. If he did, he's a better player. And we'll call that. That's cool. Even if I avoid the giant baboon hog even breathes on me, I'm dead. So, this, we're out at a new PB. Survived day four on Eclipse offense. Kind of funny to say, honestly. Okay. And imagine if I didn't make that pipe jump last round and there was just a giant to deal with. What do you even do? I guess you can go around the long way and try to go up the pipe at some point. Or the, the parkour right here. Maybe there is some merit to, to playing and learning that part of the map over there. That, that's where you hide from the giants, I guess, behind all the rocks. Like the only option, really. No turret. We're looking at a jump here. Okay, both locked. Question is, how do I handle it? Oh, it's three dogs. Okay. We for sure go then. Uh oh. the peak. I actually haven't gotten a key yet too. So I wouldn't even go that way if I wanted to. Don't have to be too greedy here. Alright then. the smoke one it doesn't seem like this is its patrol route so I can go over here not the highest value loot ever it's a non-zero amount at least care that I just hit it. Alright then. Thumpers are dumb as hell apparently. Let me get a free one in. Oh, wait, it's gonna get let me hit it again. Okay. Only took one hit that time. That's an improvement. The slime. Only tattered metal sheets though, it's kinda whack. Let's not die to a slime after all that. Yeah, we're good. Now we just pray that it's not a sandworm. That's not very good either. Hey, 
looks like they're preoccupied with each other. I dropped that other tattered metal sheet just to have a little bit more mobility in case the baboon hawk decides to fuck with me. Also give it kind of a peace offering too. I can take that tattered metal sheet. As long as I make it back home. Alright, we're good. Stay from the baboon hawks at least and all the dogs are over there. Cool. Not getting all that much loot on Quota 2, but we are going to make it past Quota 2, or at least try to. We still have one more set of flashlight and shovel as well. If we make the pipe jump 3 for 3 this time. Might be the first time I've done it 3 for 3 if I do. Nice. Baboon Hawk and Dog off rip. Baboon Hawk probably going to die. Alright, good vibes only for this run. Hey, Larry filming some Lethal Company now too, let's go. wonder what he'll be filming today. If you guys haven't watched his No Escape Lethal Company video, where he plays with the virus, uh, we must go deeper mod, go check that out, pretty sick. Okay, anything in the back rooms? Nope. Oh, big room. Cure this real fast. And definitely for this room, I want to stay strapped because Thumper chasing me down this long hallway well, is a death hunt. much here, huh? So unfortunate. Not even a door right here. What? That's crazy. Oh, there's one right here at least. Main entrance vibes. Okay. Oh. What the main entrance has for us. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm gonna take your stuff. You only had that? Okay, well, my bad. Oh. But you would have been mad if I took the magnifying glass, so it had to be done. Do I just walk it through the main entrance? injured already so God damn it I would have dropped it right here let's just um uh, let's lock in this quota huh try a little bit harder on quota three no reason not to kind of a different tone that I was taking earlier, but it is what it is. We leave the flashlight because it's worth less. I can buy that back and save five credits on the next purchase round. Compared to leaving a shovel, unless the shovel ends up being on a discounted sale, but... Two baboon hawks, the dog. Oh, sorry, two dogs, one baboon hawk. No possibility for giants unless... Wait, how many dogs is that right there? Giant is still on the table. Sandworm is still on the table. But if I see a second baboon hawk, then that takes a giant off the table. No fun to just watch what's going on over there. Can't imagine what... Or how much more difficult the out... Okay, well there's a second baboon hawk, so no more giants. I can stay occupied over there. Could still be a sandworm though, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Well, at this point, if I die this close to a ship to a sandworm, then it's my fault. Jump right here instead. Kind of forgot that was an option. 
All right, let's go. A little over 100 on that quota. Take it. Gonna finish out quota two and have just a little bit for quota three. I don't think we'll have enough to complete quota three on its own. I can't really tell with this scan here. Actually, I will be able to meet quota three with all the loot that I have now. I don't want to just do it. This video is kind of long, so. Yeah, this is already about to be like a two hour video. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sell everything every round. I don't, I don't want to cut out like the, I want to cut out the runs that I did, the ones where I didn't pass, just because, you know, they, they were valuable learning lessons, and they were kind of more interesting than what I'm actually doing on this run, so, yeah, we'll leave that in, and instead of allowing me to play it safe, I'm gonna force myself to need loot here. I might just cut this part and show that I've sold everything, and then see how far I get. Hey, that should be everything. If it's not enough to meet quota, that's gonna be hilarious, but I'm pretty sure it is. It'll be over by 40. Yep. And we have enough equipment for a full deadline loadout. 537. That's that's a real quota. Let's go. Gonna have to work a little bit for this one. I think I'm gonna need about... Well, I'm not gonna think about it. Let's just shoot for like 200 per map. Overshoot. Not undershoot. I felt a little late on that one, but I guess it's a little bit more lenient than I thought. Good thing. Baboon Hawk Dog. Why does it sound like that? Sounds like there's a filter on it. room okay, sorry I had to adjust my earbud that might have been why it sounded weird bottles almost halfway there I saw a key on the ground okay well that works out Okay. Don't oh, you have to be so aggressive like that, Mr. A little turret on that stairway if you didn't see it. Apparatus room. Hopefully the other Oh. Want that no, I don't, not really. Nice. I mean, maybe, maybe I just take this. Big bolt. Engine. There's a loot room down there. I feel like I'm getting a little greedy though. Will my greed be rewarded is the question. Only one way to find out. Double down. Like there's no way I'm not gonna go check this loot room. There's a world where I don't go proceed any further though. Not when I already have so much to secure. Much as I need much as I could use some practice fighting thumpers, I could also use some practice surviving encounters too. this and then I'll grab the big bolt
Yeah, I gotta remember where the other turret is. Well. Decent amount of loot if I can get it all. I'm gonna keep this just in case. Okay, if you ask me. Make sure there's no vent in this room for anything to pop up behind me. Nope. It's gonna be a journey collecting all of this too. Or more of like a process rather. Take this and we'll get the apparatus and the shovel next. Take the shovel with me in case something comes up. Oh god, okay. Okay, I, I thought... I thought I killed it already. I could have taken no hits from that. Could you imagine if I didn't bring the shovel though? I just died for no reason. Okay. Close that so I know if anything decides to pop up behind me. Notably a bracken. Alright, so we can just kind of drop this off by the wayside because we're not bringing that back. Bring a heavy inventory first, drop it all at the end of the pipe, and we'll consider how to bring this all back. This helps you go a little bit faster, more notable when you're running versus when you're walking. But see, like, that's like a 32 pound difference. As long as I just continue to walk straight backwards, I shouldn't have any issue with this method. Trying to drop the one-handed items separate from the two-handed ones. That way I can pick up a full inventory of one-handed items and then a two-handed item. Whereas if I drop it all in the same spot, then I might have to fiddle around with some two-handed items before picking up the one-handed ones. And the sound of dropping two-handed items while I do that might be the difference between me living and not. Okay, we have we should have enough time to do all this. I was going to consider splitting up these trips, but I think I'll just end it like this. I got four and a half hours left, but at least there's only one more item left for me to deal with. Yeah, I want to say I dropped the apparatus around like here, and then the rest of the items were like here. One more. I don't see any dogs or baboon hawks anymore, so I'm thinking that there's going to be more than one sandworm. Especially since I haven't seen a giant either. We're going to leave the flashlight and the shovel, that's just extra weight that I don't need right now. I probably should have saved some of the one-handed items to bring back on the first trip. I wasn't really thinking all that hard, I was thinking about how I get all of this over there in time. I might drop this still, and then try to get for a full in fuller inventory. Okay, this is probably the fastest way, that little jump right there, instead of going all the way around. I 
Can I jump on this thing? No. Is that it? Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. 53 plus the apparatus so about 300 ish very good very good 33 of 474 that that's a good enough haul even for an iron man run dog off rip oh i almost forgot i almost forgot to jump and that's exactly why i learned the parkour because sometimes i'll just forget hopefully i don't forget the pipe jump when i go on an iron man run eventually Hello. Two baboon hawk. Giant also. That's crazy. Oh, I think that's... Oh, the, it's gonna be a giant bab... Three baboon hawks. And the dog. That's the max spawn. Unless the dog starts killing the giant... Uh, the dog starts killing the baboon hawks. It's the only way the enemies get replaced. this car. Wow. Okay. Close it for now in case anything decides to pop up behind me. I can cheese anything here. Okay. My coil head trap room. Do the jump earlier rather than later. Okay. Just a turret down a hallway. Of course. Old phone is pretty nice. Battered metal sheet is an object. We'll check that. Dead end. Getting a little comfortable here. Another tattered metal sheet. Locked. Another t Okay. That's as far as we go. No real point in going any farther than that. We get the phone. I don't entirely remember where it was, though. So Dead end. I think the phone was in this room. Right? Yeah. Wait. How did I not make that jump? Alright. Um. So. We're gonna have to. <laughs> Was I really that heavy? What? Did I run out of sprint? Oh, I'm gonna have to get like 600 on this. On this run. In order to meet the quota, it got real interesting real fast. Now the real challenge. If I, for some reason, I needed 500 credits on offense during a run, would I be able to do it? Let's find out. I'm choking. I choked that real hard. But at least I've learned that the offense parkour is actually really easy. I'm also questioning whether or not that giant spawn rate is actually just 4%. I feel like I'm seeing a decent amount of them. Oh. Violence off rip. Love to see it. Yeah. Baboon Hawk already did. Go. It's actually more efficient to land on the railing than it is to jump over it. Like, yikes. And there's a vent in there? Oh lord, okay. Don't like that. 
There's something spawning from there. Of course. I'm gonna have to fight him right here, I think. I'm not gonna fight him in there. Oh, that's the only way. Alright then. Please patrol this way. Jesus, I'm already dead. Oh, hate to see that. There's a poor lizard over here. I kind of want to turn this off. Okay, hopefully now I can at least see on this run. I don't know if it's going to be good enough though, no. Might as well pick this up in case I need it. Really? Okay. We tried. <laughs> well, I have no more. I have no more shovels or flashlights, so I'm not even gonna play the last day. I think this is a long enough video already. Could have gone longer if I didn't uh, sell all my stuff, but I mean, this is already a really long video. Let's just go get fired real quick. See some stats. Let's land on a baboon hawk and hold right mouse button. Even though it's not gonna, even though it's gonna leave before that warning goes all the way through. All right, well that's it for the eclipse only offense run. I'll be doing more of these eclipse only eclipse only moon runs. So stay tuned for those. Welcome to our disciplinary process. Stay tuned for those. Let me know which moons you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And let's actually let's go look at the stats first before we. Get out of here. 18 days, 3 deaths, not a lot of scrap collected. Let's go.